What if I told you that falling ill could be a sign of good health? A paradox, isn't it? But let's delve deeper into this intriguing perspective on health and wellness. When I say falling ill is a sign of good health, it certainly sounds like an oxymoron. After all, how can sickness signify health? But this is where the beauty of our body's intricate mechanisms comes in. When a healthy person falls ill, it's often because their body is actively fighting off an infection or disease. It's a sign that their immune system is functioning as it should, recognizing threats and working to eliminate them. In contrast, those who never fall ill may not necessarily be the epitome of health. It could be a sign that their immune system isn't responding as it should. An unresponsive immune system may not recognize threats allowing infections and diseases to infiltrate and establish themselves without any resistance. So the next time you're nursing a cold or battling a fever, remember, your body is doing exactly what it's designed to do, protect you. It's your personal built-in defense system at work. In this journey of understanding health and wellness, we've explored the counterintuitive notion that falling ill can be a sign of good health. We've uncovered the fascinating workings of our immune system and how it's our body's unsung hero, tirelessly working behind the scenes to keep us healthy. We've learned that not falling ill could potentially indicate an unresponsive immune system, which could be more alarming than falling ill. And finally, we've discovered that our body, in all its complexity, is always striving to maintain balance and protect us, even when it means making us feel a little under the weather. In summary, health is not merely the absence of disease or infirmity, but a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. So the next time you find yourself under the weather, remember, it might just be your body showing you it's in good health. A paradox that brings comfort, isn't it?